Hello everyone, welcome to a particularly cold, wet and miserable Thursday. Um, this is going to begin probably part two of the, the last video um, on uh, Alpine Assist, Alpine Recovery and obviously um, Alpine Renault over in Glasgow. Um, obviously if you've seen part one you'll know the, the whole scenario with uh, driving along, the, the boot light coming on, the, the car lighting up, all the interior lights coming on, um, warning lights, it's sort of Banging noises, or whatever you want to call them, pulling the car over, being unable to kind of physical lock the car, all that kind of stuff. Uh, fast forward to today, um, had a text message from Arnold Clark in Glasgow telling me that the car was being diagnosed. Um, it was kind of out of the blue. Um, subsequently, I had a call from uh, their Alpine servicing department in Glasgow to tell me that they've diagnosed the car and there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I did query, obviously, the fact that if there was nothing wrong with it, um, how come they couldn't close the boot? She said, well, they were able to close the boot with no problem. I said, well, it was obviously sitting there with the boot open. They've come back and said, ah, oh, yes, well, actually, um, they had to cut a cable tie, but when they've cut the cable tie, they've managed to lock the boot. Um, there was a small bit of plastic in there. However, they don't believe that would have been enough to cause the issue. So I've now sent them the, the video that I took um, at the time, showing them the, the, the issue and the fact that I physically couldn't close the boot and obviously reiterating the fact that the car had gone away on a recovery truck. Uh, that was about half an hour ago. I'm now waiting for them to get back in touch as they, they've not got back to me um, once they've received the video. My fear now is that if uh, Alpine and Glasgow are claiming there's nothing wrong with the car despite the video evidence to the, the contrary and um, that they're going to try and sting me for the 130 odd pound diagnostic fee. Um, I'm hopeful that's not the case given the fact that um, there clearly was something wrong with the car otherwise it wouldn't have gone away on the back of a recovery truck. Anyway, this is going to be the end of part one. Um, just, I uh, will keep you guys updated as soon as I hear from Alpine Glasgow. Um, was expecting a call back from Alpine uh, Assist as well, um, customer services tomorrow. Um, so hopefully I can catch up with uh, Wazim and the guys there as well uh, and go from there. Um, my dog is losing the plot in the background, so I better go and see what his problem is. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll keep you updated. Hey everyone, just uh, an update now for Friday regarding the, the Alpine a110 uh, and Alpine Assist, uh, Arnold Clark 2 in Glasgow, etc. You join me in the middle of Storm Babbitt um, for those that have been keeping up to date with the weather. It's been a thoroughly miserable, windy, wet, and rainy few days. In terms of the, the car, a little couple of updates as of today. Um, as you remember, yesterday I sent the, the video through um, showing the, the fault with the, the boot. Uh, I had the phone call from Alpine, sorry, from Arnold Clark saying that they couldn't diagnose the fault. Follow-up call today, again, um, confirming that they couldn't replicate the, the issue with the boot. Um, on the back of that, I then asked them, am I likely to be held up then for the, the £138 diagnostic fee that uh, Arnold Clark charged? Um, was advised, yes, unfortunately, on this occasion, I am going to be held up for that fee. The reason for that being that uh, they, they charge this fee up front just if they can't diagnose a fault, if there turn, isn't a fault, uh, or they diagnose some work that needs to be carried out but then the person decides to carry it out somewhere else uh, and they, if there's nothing that they're repairing under warranty uh, it's kind of standard. Obviously from my point of view not really looking to spend £138 of my, my money for on a car or on a bill for a car that I've had to send away in the back of a recovery truck because I couldn't drive it. On the back of that call um, I should say as well, with, uh, with regards to that call, um, Jean, who I spoke to at uh, Arnold Clark in Glasgow, um, was very, very helpful, great customer service, absolutely can't fault her at all. She did explain the, the reason for the charge um, and obviously the fact that it is kind of Arnold Clark policy. So no issues at all with the, the, the people that I've been dealing with. It's more just the, the fee itself. Anyway, moving on, um, within about an hour of that, I spoke again to Wazim at uh, Alpine Assist, Alpine UK. Probably the main part of this video, the, the main kind of reason for putting this, this part of the video on is to thank uh, Wazim Chowdhury at Alpine UK for his excellent service um, uh, and being completely on the ball when it comes to um, dealing with uh, this, uh, these issues. I um, have to say that my, my experience with Alpine Assist um, has actually been very, very positive um, to the extent that when it comes to me choosing my next car, I probably am going to choose another Alpine, uh, whether it be an A110 or an electric variant. Uh, Wazim Chowdhury at uh, Alpine UK has gone above and beyond uh, in terms of dealing with fees and hire cars and all sorts of issues um, that uh, I've had to kind of deal with. So 
again, I just want to give a shout out to him, shout out to Alpine Customer Service. If anybody's been watching along on these, these kind of two-parters, you'll, you'll know that uh, this originally kind of started off um, as a bit of a rant about the fact that I've been on this uh, cracking day out with all these other A110s uh, up to around Glencoe and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and the evening had ended on the back of a recovery truck. So I decided at that point to kind of document the experience, hence the doing a, a video now. So yes, um, back to today. Um, the, my uh, rental has been kind of extended, which has been excellent um, because I, I don't have a car. Uh, I, I live quite far away from the, the dealer. Um, there are two Alpine dealers in Scotland. Um, I live at a significant distance away from the, the Arnold Clark branch in Glasgow. So I still have the, the hire car um, until such point as I, I pick up the car, um, which is again uh, Wazim and also uh, Arnold Clark through Glasgow have also been uh, really good, really flexible with. Um, they're going to keep an eye on the car, they're going to continue to, true, um, and to have a look at it and just to confirm that they can't once and for all diagnose the, the boot issue. Obviously my concern being that uh, this, this fault returns. However, as it stands at the moment, um, they haven't been able to replicate the fault, the boot appears to be working fine. They're going to uh, get the car ready to be collected uh, in a few days time. So the next video that I shoot will probably be from the Arnold Clark Alpine dealer over in Glasgow, um, just on the, the last sort of pick up and the last kind of bits and bobs for um, for these videos. Again, so thanks much again um, to everybody who's kind of come with me on this journey and watched both parts of the, the Alpine UK video. If you haven't already, please uh, obviously like and subscribe to the channel. Lots of sort of Alpine and A110 related content, uh, other sports and supercar uh, content, other meets, all that kind of good stuff as well, if that's uh, um, something that you'd be kind of interested in. And again, a shout out to, to Wazim Chowdhury and to Alpine Assist Alpine UK who have been excellent from start to finish on the kind of home stretch with uh, this whole experience. Um, and the upshot of the two videos is, yeah, if you're thinking about buying an Alpine or an A110 uh, and you have any concerns over the um, what the customer service might be like being in the grand scheme of things at a smaller brand, um, I would have no concerns. I say I think they've been excellent so far. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Um, we'll get out on Thursday, we'll pick up the car. Uh, yeah. There you go. Morning everyone. So this is it. This is the, the Thursday now. That's us now on the way through to Alpine to pick up the, the A110. It was actually ready at the weekend, but um, obviously due to work commitments, I had to hold on to the, the Volvo here for a little bit longer. Again, shout out to, to Wazim uh, and to the guys at Alpine in Glasgow as well for um, allowing me A, to keep the hire car and obviously B, to continue trying to diagnose the fault on the, the Alpine while they had it. Unfortunately, they didn't manage to, to find out what was wrong with the car, so hopefully the, the, the fault doesn't reoccur. Um, we'll just uh, go through there, we'll pick it up. Um, I've been told that if anything does go wrong in the next few months, I can take it back um, and obviously there won't be any kind of charge for um, diagnostics and things like that. Again, thanks very much for watching. Um, let's go through to Glasgow. I'll have a look at some Alpines while we're out there uh, and speak to the dealer. So last time in the, the Volvo, the V90 hire car. Really decent car actually. Um, if you're looking for a fairly sizeable family houseboat, this is absolutely the thing for you. This thing is absolutely cavernous. Huge amount of storage um, for you, the kids, the dog. Wardrobes. Loads and loads of room here. No legislating for traffic, eh? That's a stationary engine off, waiting for uh, a crash on the bypass to clear. These things are sent to try us, the way. So here we are, we've made it to the Alpine Renault dealer in Glasgow, despite the, the traffic shenanigans, a couple of bumps on the bypass and all that kind of good stuff. That's us here. There's the wagon. Over there. Let's go and have a look and uh, speak to the dealer. Have a look at the cars here. So having spoken to William, uh, I got William there to get the keys back and uh, touch and base with Gene as well. Excellent service again from Anna Clark here today. Just thought I'd take a, an opportunity to have a look around it. Some of the A110s on sale. Big fan of the map. Yeah, that's the Volvo. Yeah. 
Yeah. And a green S. The body kit. I think when I'm changing my GT for another A110 down the line, I'm going to look for one with the body kit on it. it definitely does add something. I'm a fan of the fire and dress as well. It's just got an Alpine badge on the side, which. There we go, that's just finished up at the Alpine Dealer. Have another look at the cars outside here. So I picked up the picked up the car. Again, thanks very much to, to Jean within Arnold Park and also Wazim as well at Alpine Assist. Both have been excellent throughout this whole process. Um, in the end, uh, no fee for the, the diagnostic, given that obviously the car had to be uplifted by Alpine Assist. So that was, um, that's been absolutely excellent. Um, really, really thorough service. I say great use for the, great for the hire car as well. I cannot fault Alpine, can't fault Renault, and I definitely can't fault Alpine Assist for everything they've done for me to get the car back up on the road. I'll probably end this video fairly soon. So here it is, moment of truth. I think it started all the issues. Put lid there. Would appear to be absolutely fine again, so ultimately being an absolute mystery as to what's caused the issue. He even gave the car a bit of a wash, so that was nice of him. As the hire car returned as well, absolutely flawless in that sort of sense. Um, great service as well. Should probably mention that Enterprise were great throughout as well, kept in uh, communication regarding the, the drop off, and were quite happy to pick up the car from or quite happy to pick up the car from Glasgow as well. Um, so yeah, props to them too. I'll probably put a full list of credits at the end of the video here as well. But yes, it's been a positive experience. So there we go, that's going to be the end of the video, um, end of part two. Again, thanks very much to Alpine Assist. Uh, I've said it a few times now, but thanks very much to Wazim at Alpine, Wazim Chowdhury, who's been excellent throughout this whole process. Thanks to Jean, thanks to Arnold Clark as well um, for um, getting the car back up and running, um, taking the, the time and effort to, to look at it. Anybody who's thinking about buying an Alpine A110, um, Although I've had to, to send it away through Alpine Assist, I would absolutely recommend buying one. Um, the customer service has been first rate throughout this whole process. And I can't speak highly enough of uh, Alpine Assist and the guys uh, that I've been dealing with. So again, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe um, to the channel. Uh, that would definitely mean a lot. I'm definitely going to be posting more Alpine related content. As you can see though, we are getting into winter, so maybe a little bit less frequent than it was before. But yes, Thanks again. See you soon.